Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, so please subscribe. Sunscreen is my favorite topic. I love talking about sunscreen. And in today's video, I wanted to suggest five black or friendly sunscreens that are also suitable for oily skin. In this video, I will only be talking about chemical sunscreens and I'll be talking more about the application, texture and feel of the sunscreen and not so much the ingredients like I always do. So before we get into this video, I just want to make it very clear that this is the amount of sunscreen you should be wearing to be fully protected. Two fingers worth of of sunscreen please do not come for me i do not make the rules tiara willis a licensed esthetician does so listen to black women so let's get into the products please know that the products are in no particular order these are just my favorite five sunscreens for oily skin starting with my favorite sunscreen which is the nivea sun uv face shine control spf 50. This is the first facial sunscreen that I've ever used and that's when I was sold on facial sunscreens and I never looked back. Shout out to Glamology ZA for putting me on this. This is a really, really great sunscreen. It is very hydrating and has a matte finish and it is extremely lightweight and absorbs nicely into the skin. I would say that if you're really, really oily, you could probably skip your moisturizer and go in with the sunscreen. It absorbs nicely into the skin and it doesn't leave a sticky residue and it applies so well on top of other products and especially under makeup. My only problem with the sunscreen and generally with all facial sunscreens is that it is very, very small. I apply a lot of sunscreen. I apply two fingers worth of sunscreen and when I reapply, I reapply two fingers worth of sunscreen. So I go through this really Really, really quickly which i really hate but it's still a great sunscreen so i will continue to use it but i don't know nivea i know you're not watching this video but if you are this would be a really really great sunscreen if it came in like 200 mils okay moving on to the second sunscreen i will be using the eucerin sun spf 50 plus gel cream oil control dry touch so one thing i like about the sunscreen is that it comes with a pump and that makes it so much easier for application i just spray it onto my face and there you go it creates lace wastage then like putting it on your finger then putting it on your face it has a matte dry finish but it is still hydrating and it is not sticky it doesn't take long to blend in which i like and it absorbs quickly into the skin i would just say make sure that your skincare routine dries down completely before going in with this spf because it can cause peeling and this sunscreen is one that i'll use on really hot days because it is so lightweight it's that type of sunscreen where i would just apply a toner maybe a serum and then just go in with my sunscreen so if you're going to use the sunscreen i would not recommend having a lot of layers like if you're going to have the toner the serum the essence the moisturizer and this and this it's just going to end up peeling this is a sunscreen that i would recommend for people who like to keep their skincare routine in the morning simple which you kind of should be you don't need that many products in the morning but this is for people who want to keep their skincare routine very very simple okay now moving on to the next sunscreen i will be talking about the eucerin dry touch sun gel cream ultralight spf 50 plus okay so this sunscreen is marketed for you know your face and your body but i have a very dry body so i do not like using matte products on my body so i think this will be perfect for your face i would say this is a big version of the previous sunscreen that we just spoke about but it is more hydrating than the previous one and it is lightweight but not as lightweight as the previous one and i would simply and i would simply say this is for my oily skin people only it is not sticky and it dries down matte and there isn't a problem with layering so this does not cause my skincare products to peel and it is very lightweight like the packaging says i am more inclined to buy the sunscreen again because of its size even though it is more hydrating and it is not as lightweight as the previous one the size look how big that is this is 200 mils these are like 50 mils do you see this is going to last you a very long time especially if you're going to be applying your sunscreen correctly reapplying two fingers worth you know every single time and i really like that because i apply a lot of sunscreen and i do like my sunscreens to last i don't want to be buying a sunscreen every week or every two weeks it just it starts to get expensive and also when i leave the house um, I will use the sunscreen and yes genuinely I don't want a dry body but if I'm outside and I know that it's been two to three hours and this is the only sunscreen I have I will apply this on my body to protect me so it kind of helps in that sense that it's big enough to you know apply on your face and let it last but if you're out and you don't want to be taking a body sunscreen and a facial sunscreen you can take this with you and you can do both the jobs okay moving on to the fourth sunscreen I will be talking about the Eucerin Sun SPF 50 photo aging control lotion yeah, I know Eucerin is like the number one product here. 
they just they really have great sunscreens that are accessible again great for oily skin very 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 lightweight this sunscreen is amazing it's one of the few that i started using in my early days of sunscreen and i was like oh gosh wow i was actually really impressed and i was like i didn't know sunscreens could be like this i didn't know they can be lightweight and moisturizing as well i find that the sunscreen is amazing it is extremely lightweight and it is smooth and it rubs into the skin very easily it is hypoallergenic for those of you that react to sunscreen so i would really recommend that and it leaves the skin feeling soft and absorbs nicely into the skin and i have no problem layering this throughout the day again why i also like the sunscreen is that it is 150 mils i love big sunscreens especially for the face again this is also for the body but I think it's just too light for the body. Moving on to the last sunscreen, I will be talking about the Vici UV Protect SPF 50 Skin Defense Invisible Mist. So, before we get into the product and its textures and everything, I just want to say you cannot rely on this as your only application of sunscreen. First of all, it's only 75 ml, so it's not going to last. It is simply not enough. You should be going in with a normal sunscreen, and this is simply just for reapplication. Okay, now that that is said, this is a great reapplication sunscreen for bare skin or people with makeup. It's honestly like a light film on your face, and you don't feel it. Like it's just like really, really lightweight, and it dries down matte. And that is why. I suggest it for oily skin but I think if you do have dry skin you can use it especially if you used a moisturizing sunscreen and a moisturizer and you hydrate it into your routine this could also be great for people with dry skin you honestly do not feel it on your skin guys it is very lightweight i mean it it is very lightweight the only downside is that it is only 75 mils so you're going to go through it a lot so i would really only say to, like recommend this if you're wearing makeup and you want to reapply go for it or if you're outside and you don't have access to washing your hands before applying you know your sunscreen again then definitely but it's not i don't think it's something that you can rely on every single day for reapplications i mean if you've got money like that then <laughs> then yeah you can do that but for me it's really for days when i'm wearing makeup and i need to reapply sunscreen i bring this with me okay that is the end of the video i wanted to keep it short and sweet I'd also ask if you guys can please recommend your oily friendly sunscreens down in the comments yeah let's have a discussion these are not the only oily friendly sunscreens on the market i would like to hear what you guys are using please let's have a discussion down in the comments as always thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification button 